how to control line weights in elevation views. Uh, as you can see, if we zoom in on this particular elevation, there doesn't seem to be much definition between the surface edges. If I, in fact, if I click the line weights off, there's almost no difference. Just the grade lines seem to make a difference. Uh, so we're going to help uh, make those line weights read a little better by defining them. Um, we're going to override the uh, line weight of this thing in the model as we sit. So we go to the View tab and uh, you see the Visibility Graphics button. Click on that and this gives us an opportunity to adjust line weights, whether they're uh, surface lines or cut lines, things in section, uh, under Model Categories, Annotation, etc. So for this, for an elevation view, we're concerned mostly with wall and roof lines. So I'm going to scroll down and hit roofs. Under roofs, there are many types of uh, lines that are could be dealt with. Uh, we are concerned only with roofs in a general term. So I'm going to click on roofs, not not any specific edge of it, but just roofs generally. I'm going to override that. I'm going to set that line weight. Um, you can see in here we've got different line weights uh, by number and in basic terms the first five match what we would normally use as our five line weights from lightest to heaviest. So I'm going to use line weight number four which would match uh, for us a, r a regular line 0.35 line weight. And I'll show you where we can look those up and see what the exact size of that line weight is attached to. So anyway I'll show it as a four for now. Say okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with walls. If I scroll further down, walls again has several components that we can deal with, but I'm going to take the general wall, override it to four. Say so, okay. Now, once I sit, say okay, let's see if there's a noticeable difference in the drawing. There it is. The uh, line weights kind of pop out now, and if I click line weights off and on, it's a much more noticeable change. Now, in general terms, I like the view. Uh, the look of that elevation, but you can see it's most notably uh, visible in the tower here that the seams between the exterior finish from level to level on the tower are noticeable. Maybe I don't want those seams to show up, which in changing my wall edge line weights has brought that to our attention. So a way around that is to join these surfaces to make the model realize that this exterior finish from level to level is one continuous surface, we can eliminate the seam lines. What we do is click on one of those walls and we will s it will jump to the Modify Walls tab and we're going to use Join. So we're going to join the exterior finishes. So I click on Join and I'm going to go level by level starting with the upper level to level 6 and click one at a time and I'm still in the same command. Click level 6 to level 5 and slowly we're removing those seams, level 5 to level 4 and so on, clicking the upper and lower parts all the way down. Oops, I missed that one. There. Uh, you can also, uh, you can see in that elevation it looks much better now without those seams in. Maybe there's more that we need to do here. Uh, you can also do your adjustments or joining of seams in the model in the 3D view of the model. And this way you could pivot the model around and pick all the seams that you need instead of jumping from elevation view to view. Here's an example. Um, I'm in this uh, command, or the 3D view. I click on join and I'm going to pick this parapet to the wall below. And likewise. So you could do that in the model and simply uh, pivot the whole model around and continue all of the seam adjustments that you need. But back to this elevation as we zoom into that you can see how that's much more readable. Now you may decide that that's not quite enough line weight. Let's go and look at where those line weights are controlled and how we can adjust them. If you go under Manage tab and Additional Settings, okay, we we'll roll down to Line Weights. Within this file, now we're shown what those numbers represent. You recall we chose number 4, and our particular elevations are at a scale of 1 to 100, so a number 4 at 1 to 100 was a 0.35 millimeter, which is close to what our typical uh, line weights are that we use, 0.5 being a heavy and a 0.35 being a primary. So that reads not bad. 
In some situations, though, you may want to adjust. So, for example, in this elevation, uh, maybe I feel that's not enough line edge definition. So, again, I could go back to my view tab and I could override that. Uh, again, zip down to the to the roof, override it. Maybe four wasn't enough. Maybe I want the roofs to be a five. It's a global adjustment, so it takes every wall and roof edge and adjusts it to a five. And say so, okay, and you can see there is a little more pronounced. And again, uh, I don't like this seam, so I'm going to go back and join this upper to lower and upper to lower and take away those seam edges wherever you decide. Now, part, some of these are must be there because they're an overhang. You can see these columns and overhang. So some we need to keep, some we can uh, join. So that's a little bit of uh, adjusting the model to suit our purposes.